Good afternoon, friends. I have a small Walgreens haul for you today. It's all digital and I paid a zero dollar subtotal, so I'm very excited about that. Behind me, you probably see some spooky stuff. I have my Halloween decorations up. When I get everything that I've ordered in from the mail, I will do a video for you guys, and I know it's not really on the topic of saving money, but I thought it'd be something fun. So I'll go to my dining room table and show you guys what this I got. This is my small haul for you guys. I had another deal that I actually messed up, but I will show you that receipt and show you what I did wrong. I bought the Febreze fabric freshener and the car freshener. There is a $3 off coupon digitally, and we have a $3 off coupon in our inserts. The insert coupon is a buy one, get one free. I chose to just go ahead and use the digital because I'm doing an all digital deal today. Next, I bought this Skin to Mint razor and shave gel. Skin to Mint is on promotion this week. When you buy two, you get 2,000 bonus points. We have a dollar off coupon on the shave gel and we have a $4 off coupon on the razors. The razors are $5.99 this week. With that $4 coupon, you're paying $1.99. The shave gel is $2.99 with a dollar off coupon. You're also paying $1.99. But of course I pay with points, so I don't pay that out of pocket. My husband prefers this expensive toothpaste to the free toothpaste that I get, so I buy it for him when it's on promotion. There's no coupons on this. The deal is buy two, get a $3 register reward. Well, I bought two of these for $5.99 each, and I did get my $3 register reward back. Let me let me show you guys my receipt. So you can see there's the Skin to Mid, the Paradon Tax, and the two Febrezes. My $4 digital coupon for the Skin to Mid came off, my $3 for the Febreze came off, and the dollar Skin to Mid gel came off. My subtotal was $18.96. I used $20 in points, paying zero subtotal, and my points covered part of my tax. I paid 58 cents in cash and I got back 2,000 bonus points, and I showed you my $3 register reward. I just wanted to say that you guys need to learn to how you're taxed in your area. Some people aren't taxed on toothpaste, I know that. I am in my area. And also, you need to learn if you're able to redeem some of your points for your tax. I am, so I calculate the tax and then figure out how much it's, my total will be with tax. And as you can see, my subtotal was less than $20, but I knew that I could use points towards my tax and what my tax would be. So I went ahead and did that. So I would pay the least amount out of pocket. So I did trade um, points for several things in this transaction. I'm down some points, but they were things that I needed, like the toothpaste, which does not come on promotion all the time and that my husband does prefer. And if you have pets, you know that Febreze comes in very handy. <laughs> I will show you guys my next transaction. So what I did in this next transaction was I picked up two Oral-B flossers and the promotion this week is spend $10, get 5,000 points. And we had a $6 off coupon on two, so it was going to be a really great deal. I was going to get these two and use the $6 and then be able to use what I had Point. planned was to buy these two flossers and then use the $6 off coupon and then roll 5,000 points. Well, what happened was the first mistake was that the $3 off coupon came off first. Instead of the $6 off coupon, I should have unclipped that $3 off coupon, but I did not, so that came off. The second problem was that this is a spend deal and I did not build my transaction up. For some reason, I just wasn't thinking about the fact that you cannot use points on a spend deal unless you have enough coupons, register rewards, and cash to cover the spend amount. And so what I did was I returned this and then I got this gift card. It's a store credit card for the $5 in points that I paid originally. And then they gave me the rest back in cash. So I need to remember that I cannot use this card um, on deals, on spend deals, except if I've already met the spend requirement. So I need to remember that this is not like cash, like a regular gift card. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you're not currently subscribed, please subscribe. And if you would leave me a comment below, I would really appreciate that. I am really curious as you who's watching these videos. 
And of course, I scan my receipts into Fetch Rewards. If you have not signed up for Fetch Rewards, you can use my code and you will get a bonus. And I will as well. I believe it is 2,000 points, which equals $2. I want to add that the Beauty Enthusiast coupon is back. I know I mentioned that it expired on August 31st. It is now back. Thank goodness. And also, I wanted to ask that you guys clip this coupon for $5 off a $20 purchase. This is a great threshold coupon that will start next week. And sometimes these disappear after too many people clip them. So you want to be sure to clip it now.